Today, we're going to discuss about ancient Egypt. The ancient Egyptians formed the first true nation 5,000 years ago. Their civilization lasted for almost 3,000 years. Ancient Egypt was a long, narrow country which stretched along the Nile Valley. It was surrounded on both sides by desert. In around 3100 BC, there were two separate kingdoms called Lower Egypt and Upper Egypt. The two kingdoms fought a battle, which was won by the Upper Egypt led by King Minis. Lower and Upper Egypt became one country, and King Minis built a capital at Memphis for a new and united land. The pyramids were built 4,500 years ago, and they are still standing at Giza. They remind us of the skill and wealth of Egypt's ancient civilization. Speaking of pyramids, pyramids in Egypt were built as the tombs for country's pharaohs, and the most famous Egyptian pyramids are those found at Giza in Cairo, Egypt. The Social Structure in Ancient Egypt This is the King of Egypt. The King of Egypt called the Pharaoh. He was all-powerful. In fact, he was a god to Egyptians. Egyptians believed in many gods and goddesses. Gods and temples were looked after by the priests. The priests and officials were called scribes. They also ran the government. Below them in the society were called the farmers, craftsmen, and workmen, including slaves. Ordinary people had to work for the pharaoh, like building huge palaces and temples, as well as working in the fields. Although most people were poor, they had holidays and ate well. They could catch fish in the Nile, hunt birds, and animals in the Nile Delta. They also grew crops and fields were fertilized with mud from the Nile. People used the Nile to water the plants. Farmers grew many different vegetables, grapes for wine, grain to make bread and beer, and flax to make linen cloths. They kept most of the types of animals found on farms today. Another one is the Nile was Egypt's heart and its highway. Here, people take water from the Nile. Boats carry people across the river. Men with nets fish from the riverbank and boats. The Nile River flooded every year, creating a strip rich farm land beside it, and the surrounding deserts and sea kept Egypt safe from any attack. 